Information processing theory is a cognitive framework that describes how humans perceive, process, store, and retrieve information. This theory likens the human mind to a computer, where information is taken in through sensory input, processed in short-term memory, and stored in long-term memory for future use. Key components of this theory include attention, encoding, storage, and retrieval. Attention allows us to focus on specific stimuli in our environment. Encoding involves converting this stimuli into a form that can be stored. Storage is the retention of this information over time, and retrieval is the process of accessing stored information when needed. Here are two examples of information processing theory. First, consider a student studying for an exam. The student reads a textbook, sensory input, focuses on key concepts, attention, summarizes the information in their own words, encoding, reviews their notes repeatedly, storage, and recalls the information during the test, retrieval. Second, think of a person learning to drive. Initially, they must pay close attention to each action, sensory input, and attention, such as adjusting mirrors and checking blind spots. Over time, these actions become automatic and stored in long-term memory, allowing them to drive without consciously thinking about each step, retrieval. Let's look at three benefits of information processing theory. Firstly, it provides a clear and structured way to understand how learning and memory work. By breaking down the process into stages, it helps educators and psychologists develop more effective teaching strategies and learning aids. Secondly, the theory highlights the importance of attention in learning. Understanding that focused attention is crucial for effective encoding and storage of information can lead to techniques that improve concentration and reduce distractions. Thirdly, information processing theory has practical applications in various fields, such as education, where it informs the design of instructional materials and methods that enhance memory, retention, and recall. Now let's explore three criticisms of information processing theory. First, the theory has been criticized for its overly mechanical view of the human mind. By comparing the mind to a computer, it may oversimplify the complex and dynamic nature of human cognition, failing to account for emotional, social, and contextual factors that influence thinking and learning. Second, the theory primarily focuses on individual cognitive processes and may not adequately address how collaborative learning and social interactions impact information processing. Third, some critics argue that the theory does not fully explain how prior knowledge and experiences influence new learning. It tends to emphasize the linear stages of processing without considering the interplay between existing knowledge and new information. To learn about other common concepts in psychology, check out the videos on the screen.